Next, we're going to value the taking parcel 1T. The temporary area contains uh, 0.151 acres and is needed as an area to stage construction activities within the 1WD area and to reestablish the drive entrance. ODOT needs this 1T area for 18 months. This period starts when ODOT or its agent initiates construction related activity on the property. This temporary construction easement affects the residue property, not the whole property before the taking. For the value finding appraisal report, the unit value of the residue land is considered to be the same as for the whole property before the taking, as all parties, who are the appraiser, the review appraiser, and ODOT, have agreed there is no evidence that the taking has damaged the residue property. This agreement occurred when the appraisal scoping checklist was signed by all parties. Ohio jury instruction governs compensation for temporaries, and uh, that instruction is a temporary easement is the right to use an area of land for a limited time and for limited purposes. The measure of compensation or damages for a temporary taking is the fair market value of the loss of use of the property taken. That fair market value is the lost rent fair rental value. Compensation for the T will then be the fair rental value of the, or the 0.151 acres for an 18 month duration. Generally, land rent is based on an appraisal methodology known as IRV, I -R -V, where I is income times R, which is a rate, equals value or V. The equation of income times rate equals value is rearranged as follows. Value times rate then equals income, and income is the annual rental for the 1T area. Value is the value of the area encumbered by the T easement, which is the unit value of the whole as a vacant site, which was 12,000 an acre. It is assumed that this $12,000 an acre unit value is the same for the residue site as we've determined that there's no apparent evidence for damages. Rate equals income divided by value. It is the potential rate of return on a real estate investment reflecting the relationship between net operating income for a given year and the total value of the investment. For this value finding report, the rate is for the residue land only. This rate is applied to the value of the 0.151 acre encumbered area by the T easement, or the rental of the residue land is considered to be a safe investment, and an 8% rate of return is considered appropriate. Estimating the fair market rent of the T encumbered area is as follows. The value of the T is 0.151 acres times 12,000 an acre, gives us $1,812. That is the value in that IRV equation. The overall rate of return for that land is 8%, which is the rate in the IRV equation, gives us an annual rental for the T area of $144.96, which is the income in that IRV equation. We can't stop there because that is the rental amount for a year, which is 12 months. And this taking, the easements for 18 months are 1.5 years. So we multiply the annual income by 1.5 to get compensation for 1T, which is $217.50, which we rounded to $217. So the compensation estimate for 1WD and 1T is 1D land taken is 405 acres of PRO at $1. Net take of 0.149 acres at $12,000 an acre is $1,788. Site improvements taken, which considers the fencing, the stone drive entry, the gate, concrete drive, the trees, totals $34,611. The cost to cure 
was $3,127, and the temporary was $217. The total compensation estimate for the 1WD and 1T areas are $39,744. The site improvements taken, the cost to cure in 1T was estimated in this module, and the land taken was estimated in the previous module. It's time for a knowledge check.